Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need with another 3DS Max video tutorial. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and animate our chain that we created. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is we have to change the pivot of the chain towards the front of it. So that way, that's the only part that moves. Um, the way you do this is you go into your hierarchy uh, while having the chain selected and then click effect pivot only. Then you want to move it towards the end middle part of the uh, chain there. Then we're going to go ahead and array it. Um, hopefully you already still have your array settings from the last time. Um, if not, then you can just use my array settings, um, which I think this is going to be HD, so you should be able to see. If not, I'll go ahead and post them up there uh, in the description. Okay, so got this array. Stretch it out, whatever. Okay, so once we have this all arrayed and all good like that, we're going to use the selected link tool and we're going to start all the way at the back and then come forward with it. Um, and this will link up all of these chain links together so that way if you move the one at the chain link at the far end, which is where we're working our way up to, um, then it will move all the chain links whereas all the other ones before that will only move up the ones behind it. Um, okay, so now that we've got that, we're just going to draw a line. Um, you can put as many um, vertexes as you want. I'll only put like five, I think. Um, okay, go ahead and take off rendering. And alright. The next thing we want to do is, uh, well, let me go move this really quick. Kind of want to space these vertexes out. Vertices, I'm not really sure. Alright. <coughs> Next thing we want to do is we want to go into animation, and then uh, IK solver, then spline IK. Uh, the way you want to do this is you want to select this uh, last chain link here. All right, click it again. Oops, click the wrong one. All right, so spline IK. Go and click the last chain link, and then click your spline that you just made. That will go ahead and create now different dummies um, that you could use to animate your um, chain here. Now depending on which W you click and depending on where you move it depends on how the chain moves. So you guys can go ahead and play around with that um, just to make your chain move or be posed whatever way you want. Um, that's basically it for this video. As you can see uh, it was really quick it only takes about 3 minutes and 45 seconds to do if you're even while talking. So that's pretty good. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. So I'm going to try to do one a week. And uh, alright, that's it.